All right, so today we are officially ranking some of the top earbuds on the market, which isn't something I've ever done here on the channel. I've done plenty of comparisons, but never a true ranking system to help you guys better understand, you know, how they stack up against each other. Now, really quick, before we get started, I want to announce that I'm doing a giveaway here on the channel. So I'm giving away a brand new pair of the AirPods Pro 2, as well as a brand new pair of the Bose QuietComfort 2, completely free. And the rules are super simple. All you have to do is go over and subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel, Easy Tech Vids. I'll put the link down in the description. So go over there, subscribe to the channel, and then comment done on this video and I'll enter you into the giveaway. And I'll announce the winners probably about four weeks from now. I'll put the exact date down in the comments. Now this is for the US viewers only. So my apologies to the international folks out there. Now, back to the video. So I've got 10 different categories and we're going to rank each of the earbuds based on each category. And in the end, we'll tally up their final scores and see how they compare. First, let's start off with Bluetooth connectivity. So coming in with a five out of five, I have the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3, and the Sony WF-1000X and 4. Now, the reason behind this is very simple. All of these earbuds have a very stable Bluetooth connection, but what sets these three apart is the fact that they have multi-point connection. So you're able to connect these earbuds to two devices at the exact same time. Now, Sony actually just made the cut here because they recently added this feature through a firmware update as of a few weeks ago. As far as the AirPods Pro 2, the Galaxy Buds Pro 2, and the QuietComfort 2, I'm giving these a four out of five simply because they don't offer multi-point connection. With the AirPods and the Galaxy Buds, I think it's more of an intentional move because they do offer seamless device switching. So with the AirPods, you can easily switch between other Apple devices. And with the Galaxy Buds, you can do the same thing with Samsung devices. So basically they're encouraging people to only use their products. With the Bose QuietComfort, although they don't offer multi-point connection, you can keep a running list of your Bluetooth devices within the Bose Music app and you're able to control which device you're connected to at any given time. Next up, let's talk battery. So these are the advertised numbers for each set with active noise canceling turned on. So in terms of total on the go battery life, you have the AirPods Pro 2 and the Sennheiser Momentum 3 towards the top of the list, the OnePlus, Sony and the Bose towards the middle, and then you have the Galaxy Buds at the bottom. With that being said, I have the AirPods and the Momentum 3 with a 5 out of 5, the OnePlus, Sony and the Bose with a 4 out of 5, and the Galaxy Buds with a 3 out of 5. And since we're on the topic of battery, it is worth mentioning that all of these earbuds offer wireless charging except for the Bose QuietComfort 2. They all offer fast charging as well, however the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 give you the most battery life with around 3 hours from just 10 minutes of charging. Next up, let's talk about security and how well the earbuds stay in the ear. Obviously, this is based on my personal experience and my ears are smaller than average. So just keep that in mind as I go through these scores. So for me, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro 2 a five out of five, simply because they're the only ones compact enough to fit all the way inside of my ear. And because of that, I'm able to get a very secure fit. So if I was gonna do something like hit the gym, go for a run or any sort of physical activity, these would be my go-to for sure. And speaking of physical activity, these are the only earbuds with an IPX7 rating, which means they are waterproof opposed to water resistant like the other earbuds on the list. Next up with a four out of five, I have the Momentum 3 as well as the QuietComfort 2. Both of these have silicone ear fins that help to lock the earbuds into place. And I will say that they do a great job. The only thing keeping these from a five out of five is the fact that my ears are on the smaller side. So if you have medium to larger size ears, then these might be a five out of five for you. With a three out of five, I have the AirPods Pro 2, and that's mainly because they do require some occasional repositioning when it comes to intense physical activity. With a two out of five, I have the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. And these are very similar to the AirPods, except they have a matte finish, which for me makes them more prone to slipping out of the ear, opposed to the smooth, glossy finish of the AirPods. And then with a one out of five, I have the Sony XM4, and this one just comes down to simple physics. 
they're the chunkiest earbuds and when you pair that with my small ears the fit simply doesn't work doesn't mean that'll be the case for you especially if you have larger ears but for me these things are constantly on the brink of falling out next up let's talk comfort again keep in mind this is based on my personal experience so with a five out of five i have the oneplus buds pro 2 as well as the airpods pro 2 they both have the same stem style design and they just rest very easily inside of the ear with very minimal pressure with the four out of five i've got the quiet comfort and the momentum 3 both fairly comfortable just not as comfortable as the oneplus or the airpods and then with a three out of five i have the galaxy buds and the sony xm4 as far as the galaxy buds it's kind of a catch-22 because they fit so secure and so snug in my ear I do need to give my ears a break rather quickly. And with the XM4, I feel like a three out of five is really all I can give them. Since they don't fit my ears properly, it's hard to say how comfortable they truly are. Next up, let's talk touch controls. So this one is pretty simple. For me, it comes down to whether or not I have access to all of the controls that I need. So the AirPods, the Galaxy Buds, the Momentum 3, and the Quiet Comfort all get a five out of five because they allow you to control everything at once. So you're able to play and pause, track forward, track backward, as well as adjust your volume and adjust your ambient sound control. Keep in mind that with the Galaxy Buds, you do need an Android device in order to access the Samsung wearable app so that you can activate all of the touch control features. When it comes to the OnePlus, these give you access to all of your controls except for volume, which is why they're getting a 4 out of 5. And with the Sony XM4, between your playback controls, volume controls, and ambient sound control, you have to pick and choose which set of controls you want for each earbud. So these are getting a 4 out of 5 as well. Next up, let's talk about the overall app experience. I will say that the apps for all of the earbuds offer what you would expect for a set of premium earbuds. However, a few of them do take things a step further than the others. So with a five out of five, I have the AirPods, the Galaxy Buds, and the Sony XM4. I feel like each of these three have the most detailed and advanced features. With the AirPods, I really love the way you're able to track the earbuds and the case very much like an AirTag. The case also has a speaker, which you can cause to chirp if you need help locating it. You also have a lot of other detailed features that you can really dial into to customize your experience. With the Galaxy Buds, you have access to things like a fit test to make sure you're using the optimal ear tips for your ears. You also have access to a low latency gaming mode, as well as some accessibility features which allow you to customize the balance of the sound. So maybe you hear better in one ear versus the other. You can actually adjust the balance of the sound to suit your ears specifically. Keep in mind that with the AirPods, you'll need an iPhone to access all of the features. And with the Galaxy Buds, like I said earlier, you'll need an Android to access that Samsung wearable app. With the XM4, you have quite a few options, including their very detailed adaptive sound control. This allows you to automatically customize the active noise cancellation based on your level of activity or even your physical location. With the OnePlus, the Momentum 3, and the Quiet Comfort, they all give you access to today's must have features like custom EQ, custom touch controls, and custom noise canceling modes. So I'm giving these a four out of five. Next up, we have microphone performance. So I actually have a microphone test that I'll play for you guys shortly, but we'll go through the scores here really quick. So with a five out of five, I have the AirPods and the OnePlus. I feel like they make the voice the easiest to hear and understand. With a four out of five, I have the Momentum 3. These also make the voice very easy to hear and understand. And with a three out of five, I have the Galaxy Buds and the XM4. The Galaxy Buds do a great job of making the voice sound very natural, but it doesn't do much in terms of separating the voice from any background noise. With the XM4, they do cancel out some background noise, but in return, they make the voice sound a tad bit muffled. And then with a two out of five, I have the Quiet Comfort 2, and that's simply because they have a very weird, hollow, echoey type of sound. All right, so as you guys can see, we're standing on a crossway above a very busy street, and this is what it sounds like straight from the camera. All right, so first up, we have the Bose Quiet Comfort Mark II standing on the exact same crossway. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 
Here we have the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro standing over the crossway. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Next up, we have the Sony WF-1000XM4. Again, standing over the crossway. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And now these are the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3. Standing over the crossway. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Next up, we have the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Exact same environment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And now we have the AirPods Pro 2. Again, standing over the crossway. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Next up, let's talk active noise cancellation. So this one's pretty straightforward. It really just comes down to how effective each set is at eliminating noise. And for me, the AirPods and the Quiet Comfort 2 get a five out of five. To my ears, they simply cut out the most in terms of lower frequency sounds as well as higher frequency sounds. From there, I have the Momentum 3 and the XM4 with a 4 out of 5, both highly effective at canceling out noise, just not quite as effective as the AirPods or the QuietComfort. And then I have the OnePlus and the Galaxy Buds with a 3 out of 5, both very effective, just not quite on the same level as the others in my opinion. Next up, we have Transparency Mode. So with a five out of five, I have the AirPods Pro 2. I think these do the best job at replicating what it sounds like to not have anything in your ears. And on top of that, they have the adaptive transparency feature, which reduces any sudden loud noises. And this is a feature that I've really grown to like because it helps protect your ears. So if you're using the transparency mode and all of a sudden there's a really loud noise, the earbuds will detect that noise and reduce it to prevent the earbuds from blasting your ears with loud sounds. And it works really well if you're outdoors on a windy day. So all of a sudden you get a strong gust of wind and rather than taking that wind noise and amplifying it into your ears, it'll detect it and basically eliminate it. And then as soon as the wind is done, it'll go back to the regular transparency mode. Next with a 4.5 out of 5, I have the OnePlus and the QuietComfort 2. Neither of these sound quite as clear as the AirPods, but they both have that adaptive transparency feature as well, which like I said, I've come to like quite a bit. With a four out of five, I have the Momentum 3 and the XM4. The transparency mode on both sounds very clear and they're easily adjustable within their respective apps. And then with a 3.5 out of five, I have the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. The transparency mode works just fine in its regular mode. However, when it comes to adjusting the transparency mode, it starts to take on a very unnatural echoey type of sound. Now, last but not least, let's talk sound quality. Obviously, this is another category that is very subjective, so just keep that in mind. So for me, with a 5 out of 5, I have the OnePlus, the QuietComfort, and the Momentum 3. I feel like these are the most dynamic sounding earbuds out of the bunch, and with customizable EQ, I feel like no matter what type of sound signature you prefer, you should be able to create it with any of these earbuds. If you're a fan of bass, I feel like these three give you the best overall bass response, and if you're not a fan of bass, they also have tremendous range in terms of treble and clarity. So I feel like they can easily satisfy both types of people. With a 4.5 out of 5, I have the Galaxy Buds. These are also a very dynamic pair of earbuds, great bass response, maybe just a touch less than the other three. And I also feel like there's not quite as much separation in terms of the mid range, but overall a great sounding set of earbuds. With a 4 out of 5, I have the AirPods and the XM4. Both sound great. I just don't feel like they have as much versatility in terms of sound. I feel like the AirPods have a very balanced sound. The bass, the mids, the highs are all well represented and the sound doesn't lean too far one way or the other. With the XM4, it's a very rich detailed type of sound and they honestly sound great. But if you're looking for something more aggressive, especially in terms of bass and maybe volume as well, then you might want to go with one of the other options. So with all of that being said, we have the final results and coming in first with 46 out of 50, we have the AirPods Pro 2. Next, we have the Sennheiser Momentum 3 with a 44 out of 50. Then we have the Bose Quiet Comfort 2 and the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with a 41 and a half out of 50. We have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro 2 with a 39 out of 50. And last, we have the Sony 
WF-1000XM4 with 38 out of 50. Again, keep in mind this is all based on my personal experience, which may or may not vary from yours. But hopefully this video helps provide some context behind how these earbuds stack up. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Again, I'm giving away a set of the AirPods Pro 2 and a set of the Bose QuietComfort 2. Check out the description for the instructions and I'll see you guys in the next video.